Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. MochaLover and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2, playing as Austria, finally on this channel, I'm finally switching Austria, but it is not 1836, it is 1838, and right now as you can see, we're actually allied with the Russians, which is great, even though they're fighting some people down here, but we're going to start right off the bat going to war with Prussia, why? Because I want to be the only German hegemon here in Europe, and I think, actually eventually, here are the wars right now, um, we have a couple decisions here that we can talk about. Also, we have an absolute monarchy, which I think is great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hurts our literacy impact and political reform desire, but whatever. Uh, we have the Metternichist faction, which is protectionist, uh, interventionist, moralist, residency, and pro-military. But I'm going to go to the neo-absolutist, because we get protectionism again. We get state capitalism, which is nice. Pluralism, which... Oh, we get pluralism. Oh, I thought it was moralism. But we do get jingoism, which we do want, which I do want for uh, this war, so thank you. Come again. We love absolutists. Okay, so now let's go to war. This is probably a really bad idea. Oh, you humiliate them. But, okay, so for this war, I want to take what is rightful Austrian territory, which is Silesia, or Schlesien, I think? I think it's Schlesien. So, Schlesien. I've been told that if you take this away from them, they won't, they will struggle becoming a great, or maintaining great power status or informing Germany. So, I heard this is a really good state to take. And, can we call our allies in? Um, okay, Russia will not accept, neither will Krakow. Uh, well, so be it then. So be it. Oh, uh, this is a bad idea. I am, I am a little worried about this. <laughs> uh, you guys go there. Um, you guys have. Oh yeah, I personally put this person over here. Going to there. Going to there. Uh, oh, no, I want you right here. We gotta kill off every single army they got as fast as possible. And go to Cottbus. And let's speed it up and see what happens. And also, as you can see, researching army professionalism. Russia refused to join. Krakow refused to join. Tuscany, Saudi Piedmont. So really. We're going to try to prevent the formation of the North German Federation, as well as Italy. I might just go to war literally with, like, I don't know, one of these guys. Maybe two Sicilies. So this way they can never really form a, nor a normal Italy or something. There's another strategy just taking out Saxony in the beginning and making sure that Germany can, or North German Confederation cannot form that way. So, well, let's see what happens. Oh, we have minus... Oh, is it a crossing? I didn't even realize that. It's all right, though. It's all right. Is that... Ah, some more Germans. Um... I don't mind attacking, but, hmm, let's see, you have plus one to attack, you know, siege your stuff down, hey, we won the battle, that's great, um, up next, open, yes, just follow that army, kill them off if you can, take what they have for now, and, where are you guys headed to, Kustrin, go there, why don't you guys come over here first, Kill that army off. Hopefully this goes okay. Obviously, they got a lot of small little German states. If we have to mobilize, we will. But, I really don't want to. I really don't want to. Are they... Um, what is this? Literacy Association of Friends. An arts and letters club in foreign countries supports the cause of Czech independence and exchanging contacts with people in Prague. We can take steps and measures to isolate Prague from harmful outside influences by, for example, having the secret police browse through incoming mail, but this would, of course, cause a drop in relations with the foreign power in question. We could also simply ignore the issue and allow the dissatisfied Czech subjects to establish international contacts. But that might not be the best idea. Secret police? Ah, uh, secret... Oh, we love the secret police. Um, who's over here... They're going to Waldenberg, which is their defense. Ooh, that is forest. And they're currently here in force as well. Who's really good on attack here? Württemberg? Uh, let's take a look. Württemberg, you are really, really bad on attack. And hey, now? You're really good on attack. So I want you guys to do this. You can go right there. Give them a day advantage. There you go. That's really good attack, because attack and defense means a whole lot in this game. Um, You're not doing very well right now. You could probably send another army up and actually... No, game. What the heck? No, I want one of these guys. Go up there. Actually, everyone get up there. Screw it. Nice. Actually, you guys go up here too. You're really close. Oh, we barely won. We took a lot of casualties, but we barely won. Alright, they're heading down to Stetten. 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 Wait, where's Stetten? Quad bus. Oh, they're going the wrong direction. Okay. Find them, kill them. Uh, Krakow, sure, why not? Do we have any extra spare armies? No, I mean, we're maxed out on armies right now, so... That's not great. I said you guys right there, too. Alright. 25,000 have just died. Delightful, my friends. Um, go here, and I want you guys to spread out. I know we have the southern German states to deal with, too, but... We... Honestly, they're not too bad right now. Oh, some Prussians are here. Some Prussians are here. Okay. 
It's disappointing that Russia didn't want to join us in a war. Um, I really don't want... I don't care about the Russians, to be honest. Like, I just want to be the hegemon of all German people here, so... I should go here first. Screw it all. Oh! Hello! We're on defense. Nice. Where are you guys going? Katowice? Go down there, too. Um, you guys come up here as well. They're very disorganized, so that's the perfect time to attack. Battle Stetten, very nice, very nice. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Krakow's no longer in alliance. Katowice is gone. Thank you. That's not good. I think we sent a general without a good stat modifier, so. And, and I, that's why I'm going absolute professionalism, or army professionalism to begin with. There you go, nice. They're headed to Strasselun. Strasselun, Strasselun. Where's that? Ah, oh, Strasselun. So, good. All right, so this is looking pretty good for us. Um, these guys are really bad. Shutting though. All right, not bad. Pretty good. Send one of you guys here, and then send another one of you guys down here. Great. First war, not bad. Not too shabby. Ooh, there's a lot of guys there, though. Uh, they are attacking us. Yeah, how about why not? And who do we have? Two Sicilies? Yes. Well, I guess we could have taken them out, but I want them under us. So we'll see what happens. Oh, someone added war reps? And we've had a cup of coffee to keep some warm. Come on, bro. You got 16 divisions left. 16. Oh, they've got a few guys there. Actually, will they give it to us right now? Oh, we might be able to get reparations. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we do have a ticking war score right now, but still. Alright, those guys die. That's nice. You guys head down. Stay there. You guys will be fine. Stay there. Stay there. Uh, you can actually screw it. Go and reinforce the area. Let's go and reinforce it. That's fine. Hey, army professionalism, nice. Uh, go to Bromberg. Oh, Hess, Den. Uh, we received a peace offer. They're offering us the following terms. You better. Okay. I mean, I, we won't get very much, but okay. Um, Oriental Crisis, Egypt is part of the sphere. Okay, cool. So for this campaign, I would really like for us to like adventure out a whole bunch and do a, a lot of good things, like such as making a colonial empire. Um, I, it's probably a bad idea to attack the Swiss, so we're probably not going to do that. Mm, I don't know. I just want to make sure that we get all of Germany. I, I really want all of Germany. I really want all of Germany. There you go. Alright. Because now this is really hurting our army. And we got to be prepared for 1848. Because there's going to be some things that we have to deal with. So, um, Really, if we hurt Germany this hard, I don't think they'll ever be able to form if we really wanted to do that. Then again, though, there's others way, other ways for Germany to form, especially if we have enough rebels. So, there's that idea. Cool. Oh, sure. I might just want to make my puppet, too, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Nice. Gdansk? Danzig? We want that coal and the population. That's going to be a good population. Actually, I'd love to add another... Oh, humiliate. Yeah, why not? Screw it. We'll do that one. We'll do those two. Those are the two that we really want. And Berlin is ours. Cool. I uh, guess another day, probably. There you go. Um, boom. Boom. All right. First war done. Not bad. Not great. Definitely not great. But not bad. Hey. <clears throat> now we got. I'm going to have to sort this all these armies out through um, off screen and. Really, we're going to start probably making a navy so we can get out because I would like to get stuff going down here in Africa. I want Austro... Aust not not Austro-Hungarian, but so far, Austrian Africa. Maybe take out Uruguay, we'll see, just because early on they have nothing there and I always like getting new areas in the new world. We also might go to Haiti as well because they have no one there. But I definitely want to get stuff in China and definitely stuff in South Southeast Asia. So, we'll see where we end up. Alright, everyone, so now as you can see, we have now a... Annexation Casus Bella against Uruguay because who doesn't love Uruguay? We love them. And also, we're doing positivism. Um, actually, it's very weird right now, but uh, well, let's, let's go to war with these guys first because we can. Um, well, you know how we beat up the Prussians? The Prussians were so beaten up so badly. Well, they've now joined the French or are now an ally of the French. So, that doesn't look very good for us. But in the meantime, I've also been building up a lot of factories. A couple factories here. Oh, artillery. Look at that. That's really nice, actually. Ooh, you know what? I'll do that, which is the case. Um, I've been building up Osterreich, uh, Transdanubia, Tyrol, Slovakia, Silesia, uh, Lower Silesia, Lombardia. Like, just making sure that, like, we have sawmills where we have coal and we have iron. We're building up the appropriate factories in these regions. So, 
we're really trying to go to industrialize as best we can, but but we also have to keep in mind uh, the thing that's going to happen in 40. I'm a little worried about that. But also, I did want to show you decisions here, like before going too far. Um, we can violate Swiss neutrality, which always sounds like a lot of fun. I always want to do that. Uh, you know, I think we're allied to them right now. Um, we can increase conscription time. We have the Austro-Hungarian compromise to do this. We need to be at peace. The North German Federation must be formed, or the German Empire. We have to have nationalism and imperialism, or we're considered not a great power. Uh, so we could do that eventually. We'll see what happens. And we need to do Gründer, Gründerzeit Architektur. We need iron railroads, which would be great. Uh, we need to found Budapest, which would be great as well. Create Romania, which sounds like a lot of fun, as long as they don't betray us. Uh, convention over the Dan Danish Straits. We can create or become the South German Federation, or Confederation, which sounds like a lot of fun. But, uh, wow, we get a lot of infamy becoming that. Wow, that actually really sucks. And uh, three hurrahs for Germany, which I think we're trying to go for. I don't think with HPM, that w which is a mod we're using for this campaign, we can form the Danubian Federation. If we can't, or can, please let me know in the comments below if you can form that. That's really what I wanted to do for this campaign. But if we can't, then we'll go for three hurrahs for Germany if we possibly can, which is going to be a pain in the big old took us, because we got a lot of German states to, you know, to annex this is... I don't like seeing all these German states here. They we have to manually sphere and annex and stuff like that. But, that's okay. Some of these armies are actually okay now. Um, like, they're really actually quite good. Again, but... Yeah. We can't really support too much. Also, I'll uh, let you know, we are trying to get some more bureaucrats here in Bohemia. As well as trying to get some more intellectuals down here in this part of Austria. But, it is what it is, you know. But, enough talking about that. It's time for Uruguay. Hopefully no one else joins the war. Oh, crap. That's not good. Ah, uh, the British have... Oh, yeah, the British have joined in. They can sink our navy. And honestly, this navy is really, this really sucks. So, let's see what happens. If we can at least land the army, we'll be totally okay. We'll be totally okay. Um, hopefully they don't show up where we're at. Because we get ticking war scores as long as we take these guys out. So, we'll see what happens. It's not good at being war with the Prussians and then the UK and then... Oh. I see how you are. Sardinia, Piedmont. Oh, I see. I see, I see them down there. I see them down there. Come to Venice, just in case. Come down here, too. We're really pissing a lot of people off early in this campaign, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. Not good, not good, not good. That's all right, though. Colonia, please, thank you. Because eventually, we'll peace out with them, and they won't really care. As long as we take them out fast enough. Also, we get positivism. We need to get medicine as fast as possible. So, yeah. Just in case. Just in case. Also, we're allied to the Spanish, which means basically nothing, but whatever. Um, yeah. Not too bad. Obviously, kind of not doing great. We're, the, we're like fourth great power in the world. Actually, where are we? We're fourth great power. Prussia is below America. Their army is really bad, like us. Our prestige is really good since we beat up the Prussians and we humiliated them. So, yeah, really not bad. Obviously, this army's not feeling good, but it's not great. So, all right, cool. So now we're taking war score. Can we straight up just annex them? Yeah, if we just do that. Oh, that's so beautiful, so beautiful. Actually, if that's the case. Um, we, we can't make more divisions here. Uh, uh, we do that. We need way more infantry, so let's get more infantry first. Um, blessing in. Cool. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just kind of let things run along. And the UK usually doesn't intervene in, in um, you know, continental affairs. So they'll piece me out eventually. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Right now, we are pretty much good to go to war with the warrior nation. Now, why are we going to go to war with Africa? Well, that's because Africans make a lot of baby, and we're going to need some really good child soldiers to shoot some Hungarians later on, but speak Hungarian. To strengthen the stature and independence of Hungary within the double monarchy, Hungarian became the sole language spoken in the Hungarian parliament. Let them speak Hungarian if it makes them feel better. I don't know about that. I, I would have preferred uh, us having our own things, but as you can see, um... I guys are pretty much ready to go, and we've got the justification done, uh, and we're also at peace with the uh, UK, so. And they actually, after, actually, after, like, I faded out, the day after I faded out, they just pieced us out, so. But yeah, Africa, after Africa, I really want Java, I really want this area down here, but I'm not going to fight the Dutch for that. Okay, might be okay, they got, I mean, they got a lot of population, I'm looking for population, a lot of populations, as I said earlier. Um, actually, Johor, or something down here. As uh, gold. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, right here. Ah, uh, Perak would be nice, but they're in the sphere. God dang it. Um, having more precious metals would be nice. There's not a whole lot of population down there. Even more over here, though. Hmm. But we'll see. I do want to get to China. I really want China in this campaign. But Africa? Hello, Africa. All right, let's go on in. Let's go to Bonnie first. What are, are these guys? And I think it's these guys up here. Is it an RO? No. It's. Oh, these guys over here. That's fine. 
Just go and see Jamal. Have a good time with them. We're losing a little bit of money, but whatever. Uh, and also, like, unfortunately, well, we lost... Ooh, we got two Sicilies. Two Sicilies. That's nice. We lost Saxony to the Prussians, which it is what it is, whatever. Um, we don't have any re really new allies. The, the, the Germans or Prussians are still allied with the French, which is really bad. And the Sardinians have kind of left us and joined the French side, which really is not very good either. So, we're going to need more allies. We're definitely going to need more allies. I want the UK with us, but they're not really going to help us out that much, realistically. So, I really want the Russians with us. Really, 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 really want the Russians. Alright, head on in. And at this point, oh, we might have to start thinking about going to war with the Prussians again. I just don't think we're really able to go to war with them and the French at the same time. With us versus Prussians, we'll do fine, I'm sure, but... Oh, yeah, Sardinian Piedmont is doing stuff down there. Oh, the premier of Nabucco. Verdi's most influential work, Nabucco, which premiered in the Scala Opera House in Milan, captivated the hearts of many Italians. Its spirits in a choir would go on to go become Italy's unofficial anthem. A true masterpiece. Yes, we will gladly take. Ah, more prestige. Beautiful. Oh, we do want to accept that before that happens, so we can get another month done. And they wipe each other, just like what happened with the UK and us. Cool. Um, actually, since we're here, uh, Arroyo, uh, Calabar has a lot of population. Oh, my goodness. Um, honestly... Benin would be pretty nice to get because that's a lot of population over here. Oh, but that's half, over half a million for Oro. Oh, I think we've got to do that. Oh, hello, UK. What are you doing? You're doing stuff? Cool. Awesome. Well, it's time for our African safari to continue. Establish a protector against Oro. Why, I think so. Oh, and now we're fighting Oyo Dahomey. 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 Oh, you know what? I'm going first. Actually, ooh, your attack. Okay. Oh, he's plus four. Holy crap. Holy crap! That's a lot of attack. Come on in. All right. Oh, actually, our guys are not nearly as well. Uh, they don't need as much organization as I'd like them to have. But that's okay. Plus four attack is extremely strong. Oh, but yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we'll see. Oh, come on. They're just a bunch of Africans, and we love Africans here. We're not the number one African supporter, but we got big love for Africans. God, our guys are looking really beaten up. <laughs> Go in, anyways. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, we definitely need some more horses and stuff. Actually, I deleted one of these divisions just because I wanted to make a horse or... I got rid of one of the divisions so we could spare another brigade or division up north in, uh, you know, our homeland. And also, at this point, like, Prussia got out of their alliance with the French, so we'll probably go back to war with them. Oh, about, oh well, there, there goes the horses. Oh, well, whatever. Just siege them down as best we can. It shouldn't be too bad. We'll get some more organization as time goes on as well. And we're trying to finish up idealism as well. Nice, 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 nice. Come on. Get another month. We get a little more organization. Siege these guys down a little harder. We should do okay. Fighting in Africa kind of sucks, though. Come on. Can we siege this area down? Come on, come on, come on. I mean, they're not going to be able to siege this down too, too quickly. Can you get this done before the end of the month, please? Yes, we got it. Nice. There we go. That helped us out. That definitely helped us out. 70,000 jumps up to nothing else. Take the capital. There you go. That's good. Siege, siege, siege. Even if they take worry, I'm not too worried about it. So there you go. Idealism is done. Functionalism, I do want to do... Let's get some railroads first. And the medicine. Even though we want a smarter populace, it's just medicine super, super good. Hey, look. Got some more of them. Oh, nice. Oh, and since we're here, UK has increased our relations with the Russian Empire. We are very friendly. Uh, they really don't like us. Actually, they wanted us to humiliate them, but nah, we're okay. America? Sure, why not? Our money's not looking very good now, is it? Uh, we could attack... I'm going to fish this area first. Oh, not sure, Tayanya. The Serb Ilya Garashanin demanded in his writing at Natchertanya the unity of all southern Slavs in the struggle against their Austrian and Ottoman oppressors. His writings became the program for the Southern Slav Nationalist Movement. The Slavs free? Ridiculous! They're gonna join the army and die for the good cause! How does one, we're gonna beat these, both these armies up. Because now we should have a little more organization. Oh, we're not gonna be get this done by the end of the month. That sucks. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It is 44, so... Come on, come on. Give us one more month. We're going to wait till the next month. Get these guys a little bit more organization, and we're going to strike these guys down south. Neo-Kantian idealism? Cool. All right, go down. Kill them off. Kill them off. Ah, it's already beating them off. Whatever. You're not going to do this crap to us, man. I swear, you're not going to do this to us. And we'll be getting our ticking war square. They're going to throw in more Africans. I don't really care. We should be able to get this one faster than they can get that one up. Can we actually piece it out yet? I don't think we can. Yeah, no. <clears throat> Once we get this state, we'll be good. Having a level plus four attack general is really good. Actually, I'm probably going to send him back up to Europe. Plus four attack is ridiculous. Jakob Danko is doing a great job. So as soon as we get this one done, we're going to peace out. We'll send him up north. We'll start justifying on the Prussians. 
Ooh, but we might want to... How fast can we beat up the Prussians, really? If this lasts until 45, we should be able to move fast enough, and I will probably just continue taking... I'll take Posen, probably. We're going to go straight up north. We want access to the Baltic Sea. Yeah, that'd be good. Baltic Sea would be nice. All right, seven, 377 is not great. Yeah, that's actually really not good. Um, Actually, up north, let's take a look here. Can we improve our military setting at all? Not really, no, honestly. Ooh, we'll have to wait and see that. Mm. They do have some more allies, too. We do have these guys, too, as well, which is nice, but still. And we've almost got it. We've almost got it. we got some roads, hopefully. Medicine is next. We get that population growth. Ah, yes. Supply limit. Yes, please. Good, good, good. And we're also waiting back to... Oh, Oregon Treaty. Nice. Let's go piece these guys out, if we can. Yay! That was really costly. That was ridiculously costly. But, that's okay. Well, just like how we started, we're back at war with the Prussians. This time, I want to take Posen. Now, I could could have taken Pomerania, but if I come to the population, I want a bigger population now. So, even though this is really small and we don't get access to the Southern Baltic Sea, I don't know. I just prefer this one. It's more population, and it'll, just, it'll look better than us taking just splitting Prussia in half, which sounds really cool and all, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Hopefully, we can do well here. I did call back that army from Africa, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't go too poorly. Oh, and Krakow did not want to join. Bavaria, Sweden didn't want to join either. Okay, then. Good to know. Actually, could you guys go straight on in? You, von Wittenberg. You might actually be able to go straight on in and go there first. Uh, go there. See what you can do. Um, if we can smash that Saxon army, that'd be really good. Krakow, no. You said no, so we're going to say no, too. Oh. Okay, then. This is Hills. Um, I think it's good there. Oh, Hello. I will only ally them if they come in right now. That's literally it. Sweden, you had a choice. So why did you break the alliance first, Sweden? I don't understand. Cool. Uh, go in here. Go in here. Uh, who has a bigger army? Who's better attack? Plus, oh, you going in first. Then go in as well. Oh, we've been caught. Nope. Not today, Prussia. Not today. Great! Wow, 27,000 just died. Von Hess. Uh, you guys are going first. Going to. They keep attacking us, which is kind of nuts, but okay. Alright, so now we've got more soldiers than them. Yeah, we're really not doing well with our army. I, should need, I, need to, I need to give our guys a break a little bit. Hopefully these guys don't have too much defense. Kill them. Guys, kill them all, please. Kill them, guys. Just kill them all. There we go. Eh, we lost about an equal amount. That's fine, whatever. Just keep beating up all their armies. Because we almost have all the opposing already captures, which is really nice, actually. I'll go in there. Nope. Hey, you said you didn't want to come to the war. And I know you're small and all, but still. There you go. Go in there, too. All we need to do is get Bromberg and we'll get some ticking war score. That's all we need. Even though I know we're getting this one, too, over here, so whatever. Cool. Um, Saxon Mengen? Sure. One less enemy is always good to have. Also, the Russians did ally the French, so. Oh! There were the Chinese! That's fine, That's fine with us. Um, you guys head over here. If they start seizing some of the stuff down, I don't really care, I'll be honest. Prussia. Baby. No. Yeah, after this, we get, we gotta really make sure we'll be okay for the Hungarian Revolt. Oop. Prussia really doesn't like us. I mean, I kind of understand why they don't like us, but still. Cool. And this is why we need more Africans. Hey, we got them. Okay, that's good. Head on down here, too. Alright. Oh! Polish Insurrection. When a Polish Insurrection broke out in Galicia, Austrian Poland, and Krakow early in 46, many Austrians held that Krakow's independent status provided the stimulus as well as a forum for the planning of Polish revolts. However, we are still bound by the Treaty of Vienna and an administration of Krakow with Prussia and Russia. Special diplomats begin the talks. We don't care about Prussia and Russia concerning this matter. We must act now. Ooh. I kind of like that. We ignore their rebellion. They're harmless. No, we're not going to ignore them. Um, we can't really afford another war here right now. A Polish question. Um, Galicia Lodomeria gets Krakow as a core. Gain acquired core. This could be really bad. Oh. Huh. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, obviously, because of that, we won't be able to do very much here on out, but you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. Is it worth it? Probably not. Honestly, it's probably not worth it at all. But, you know, once we're out of this war, you know, you never know what might happen. Um. What's the war score like for now? Because I want to peace out as soon as we possibly can so we can beat them up again later on. Uh, 38% is not bad. Prussia, how much do you need to lose? Uh, cut Saxony down size would be nice. Oh, we'll do it right now. Beautiful. So yeah, here on out, we got to focus on like just getting ready for ourselves too. Um... Oh, 
There you go, go on in. Just, just seriously go on in, pressing concern. And so it is now with renewed force that I restate the conundrum of mine, which is yet to garner any sort of support or response from this chamber. What is to be done about the issue of the press reform? Me and my colleagues with me have long argued that the time for reform is now, yet the sessions remain entirely unwilling to commit to even an answer, much less a policy. Reform minded MPs in Parliament have reformed a, in a new coalition to push the agenda for press reform. Capitalizing on popular sentiment for freedom of expression, the Liberals are getting strength in the upper house. Motion carries? Oh, yes. Ah, yes, very good. We can actually do some stuff here. State press only. That hurts. That really hurts our literacy impact on, um, you know, just p period. You get more political awareness, which I do like. Serfdom isn't very good for us. I really don't like that. Education efficiency, it's so good to get rid of that. Uh, what do they want the most? They wanted land and voting, so we're not going to give it to them. Uh, one year draft. What about one year draft? Wow. Uh, let's go this one. I want more literacy. Censor press. Censor press is better than no press, right? Guys, guys, guys. I don't think you understand. You're going to die here. Yeah, this is really bad for infamy. Hopefully we'll be able to cut it down, though. Guys, guys, seriously. You're not going to be able to run away. Oh, a serfdom question. One of the main reasons that led to the Krakow uprising spreading toward Polish lands is a serfdom question. Modern nations already abolished this medieval institution that persists in our country, and many in our country advise that it's now time to modernize Austria. And the first step is to ab the abolition of serfdom. The question remains, however, is who, to who belongs the lands the serfs worked on? The aristocracy claims the land is theirs and the serfs should find their own lands, while the serfs argue that the land is theirs by right of use. Give the lands to the freed serfs. Political form peonage. Ooh. That's a really interesting peonage. Oh, I want to get to peonage, yes. That'd be really good to get to. But that pissed off a lot of people. The land belongs to the aristocracy. Oh, we still get paying anyways. Oh, what is this one? Distribute the lands to the service but pay compensation to the nobility. I like that idea. That's a really smart idea. It's not a time to abolish it. No, no, no. Let's pay off the nobility. You know, they still they paid for it. They paid a lot of money for this. So I think that's probably the best way forward. The best way forward. Alright, let's see if we can take them out. I don't know why Krakow's an independent city. I mean, it's really big. Actually, it's not really big at all. It's really, really tiny. Lubeck defaults. We will have our money back. Um, we got one. It's fine. Oh, and that's exactly what we wanted. Was that worth it? Honestly, probably not. But we do have roads, and we're also with medicine, so... Wow, Prussia looks really bad. I think up next, we'll probably take this part. Oh! Parmary Lane. Oh, they're going to really be broken up, but... We'll see where we end up next. And here we have it, the Hungarian Revolution of 1847. The Hungarian diet has grown increasingly independent of Austrian rule in recent years. Field Marshal Count Franz Philipp von Lamberg was sent to Hungary to take personal control over the armies, but he was attacked upon his arrival. In response, the Austrian government ordered the Hungarian diet dissolved and the ban of Croatia installed in Lamberg's place. The Hungarians have refused to obey and thus we now face civil war to maintain the integrity of the empire. We will restore order, in which they will lose a court on... You mean, we get prestige, we go to war with them. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, actually, uh, Hungary will become a constitutional monarchy. Fiume, they did not, I did not know Hungary actually had a core on Fiume. That is kind of weird. We have no choice but to let them go, which sounds like god-awful. Throw off Habsburg rule, which we probably become uh, Hungary, actually. Yeah, we do. Um, also, off-screen, off I did I did give them only landed voting franchise, so it is what it is. I don't want them to revolt, but I guess they're going to revolt anyways, but whatever. And we also spring to nations. The slumbering nations of Europe awake to throw off the specters of despotism and slavery. Alright, spend, 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 boys. We got a war to do. That is a big hungry. I need to place hungry sometime, but it sounds... Hello. Oh, that's not good. Well. Uh, and go straight for past. Uh, you guys will be fine. There you go. Eisenstadt. I, I'm actually surprised we actually lost Eisenstadt. It's okay, though. Hey! Whoa, look at our prestige. We're number one in the world. Now, because we lost Hungary, we're now 10th in industry, which I've been building up also like quite a bit. And we're still 5th in military score, so that's, actually, that's uh, actually pretty nice. Gyar, and then uh, go over there, too. Oh, Hungarians. You thought you had a choice in this. No, 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 no. Hello. Oh, uh, limited constitutionalism. Oh, we got rid of the absolute monarchy. God dang it. The political reforms enacted in the past few years have led to a situation where the absolutism of a monarchy can now legitimately be called into question. No longer is a king free to dictate the course of the nation to his own musings, but instead he has had to accept several constitutional hems and restrictions on his exercise of power. For these reasons, our government form is no longer most accurately described as an absolute monarchy. Limited constitutionalism. It's fine, whatever. Oh, uh, if we have to have elections, so be it. Elections. Ah, uh, who needs them? Are they... Oh, take an Eisen shot. Oh, let them let them go in first, and then we'll, we'll, we'll beat them up. Um, you can sit over here too. That'd be good. Go, go straight for there, yeah. 
Um, another horse. Uh, yeah, actually, as you see, I was preparing another army off screen, but whatever. Finish these guys off here, because 15 is... They're gonna die. They're just, they're just gonna die. Hungry. Hungry. We could have worked this out, man. We could have worked this out. Oh, okay. Uh, the box faction, huh? Neo Absolutist. Oh, what is box faction? You know it's a very weird place. When you have two conservative parties and a reactionary party. And... Okay, three conservative parties. Um, protectionist, interventionist, moralist. So they're pluralist down. Residency, pro-military. So they're exactly the same, except for they're moralist and the other ones uh, pluralist. These guys are allows that fair, which is not bad. Just don't. I don't want them yet. Um, let him move down here. I'm gonna go in there next. Belgium. France hates us. France really hates the crap out of us. Oh uh, no, Ottoman Empire. You already have all those guys. Russia hates us as well. Usually, I mean, historically, didn't the Russians help us out? Um, America. No. You know it's bad when Belgium is a great power. Screw it. We'll take you. We'll take you for now. Actually, without the Hungarians here, um, what's the court culture like? Like, when I loaded this up first, I'll, I looked at the map mode, I'm like, oh my gosh. This is a mess. No wonder everyone hates each other. Italians make up a good portion of the country, though. Which is not a bad thing. All united in faith. Well, maybe except for some of the Poles, maybe. Hmm. Or Ukrainians. Uh, another horse? Yep, well, I guess we could use you here, too. Nice. There's one faith and one faith only. Uh, actually, you go here first because they're making divisions up there. And pest will be ours. Hey, morale. Also, because we did medicine, we actually got some of these techs done already. So, medicine, we already have unlocked. Uh, not combat medicine, but we got aerial bacteria and antiseptic principle for more population growth. We we stick it, we stick people with vaccines and needles here. Which, honestly, if you think about it, do you, would you really trust those needles in 1848? I don't know, man. That seems kind of oh, rusty. Whew. That does not feel good. Oh, just just inject some stuff into you. Oh. Oh, both these parties are gone. Okay, now, now we have only one part here. Oh, interesting. Also, we have to keep a, a massive military because I don't trust the French. I don't trust the Prussians. And up next, we're going to beat up and probably take Stetten at this point then. And cut down our infamy. Like, holy crap. Like, I, I don't mind, like, doing, you know... What is it? <sighs> Save's coming. Save's coming. Because I know some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't. But even to do that, like, 24 was a bit too much. Twenty, Almost 23 is a bit too much for me as well. So, we'll see what happens. Trading privileges. Question if you're worried about that, please go ahead. Open up the colony free trade. Free competition. Ooh, more liberal. Ooh, I like the liberals because we can get more reforms. I don't want any more. Ooh, zero yeah, percent in favor of reforms. Uh, I'll do that one. Let's be more efficient. Liberal agitation spreads. It's fine. Becoming more liberal is totally fine with us for now. Uh, just go wherever they're trying to make more divisions for now. It's fine with us. Actually, since we're here, uh, you need two cannons and an infantry. Two cannons and infantry. Can we support that? Yes, a little bit. Send the Italians to die. Because we love Italians here. Oh, the Italians. Such, such Italianistic people. Italianistic. Um, they're almost done with that one. Where is the other one? Is it down here? No. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, uh, uh, in Slovenia. Cool. Because we're trying to get 100% bureaucracy everywhere. And then we'll go back and change things up around. Cool. No, thank you. Kosish. How do you pronounce that? I have no idea. Your patriots are going to fight for a country. You bet we are. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, hungry. You should have rebelled. You even responded in with some divisions. And they still can't do jack squat. I'm thinking we're doing pretty darn well for... Wait. Why are we at peace? Wait, what happened? Um... Oh! Okay! Look at that! That looks pretty good! Uh... Do we get any sort of event? Like, I want to see if we get any sort of event. Now we're sixth in the world for industry. Now we're third in the world for great power. Oh, the conservative got... Wow! 99.75% of the seats. Did anyone even show up? The Federals barely... Sh they didn't even show up with 1-1%. Jesus Christ, dudes. Um, what's the next time we go to war these guys? I'm going to just beat the crap out of them. Uh, 51, which means we're probably going back to Africa. And time now. Now, this is not Africa, of course, but you know, I figured, you know what? How about a little bit of Asia first? A little bit of Asia seems pretty nice, especially this little region down here. Just because I want to springboard into China sometime, even though... Just because the UK went to war with these guys and they're not winning yet. Wow, the prestige is fifth. That's not very good. A fiery sermon and sondrio. And let it be known that those who argue the cause of revolution argue against the cause and design of God, Almighty God himself. 
For he in his wisdom has made kingdoms on earth and set kings to rule over them. A local preacher in Sondrio has held a fiery sermon condemning several liberal causes. It is what it is. Oh, we're finding a lot of guys here. We make no distinction of class. Um, hey, more pop growth. Clinical thermometers and biannual stethoscopes. God, I just can't imagine. Like I said earlier, getting a vaccine. Like an old, old, rusty vaccine. Jesus, that just... That does not sit very well with me. The end of the revolution. Look at that. Broken, busted, and thrown to the sides lie the barricades, and the tricolors have stopped waving from the window sills. The events that will be recorded by history as the Austrian Re Liberal Revolution of 49 are all in the past, and it seems that we've managed to weather the storm. We pray for the fallen. We get more prestige. Look at that. We're still the most prestigious country in the world. But should be noted that it's only March, and we're only halfway through the March. The liberal wave of revolution down here has been going on for like two months and a half max. So that's kind of weird. I'll be honest. It's very, very, very not long. So after this, I think we'll go back to Africa. Because we love Africa, don't we? We all love Africa here. Come on, please peace out with me so I don't peace out with you. Uh, they're not going to do it. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Oh, 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 we're not the war leader. That's right. Uh, Kalimantan? Are you the war leader? No, you're not. How about you guys? Bone? Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, this will be it. Let's come over here. Constitutional crisis. Uh, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Ignore the rabble browser just because uh, I might have switched parties. Just because I want a neo absolutist. Uh, let's get the, ah, that's a capital. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, whatever. We're still making a good amount of money. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, there we go. We got him. Nice. And actually, we need to expand the port here. So, uh, I think up next is 49. We sh actually might still be able to go to war with the Africans again. Because there's just so much population down here that we love it. So, we'll see what happens. And I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, so, right now, we're pretty much ready to go to war with Benin, but it is September 20th, 1850, so we gotta go through this quickly. And, uh, well, maybe I should have waited another month, cut down some more infamy, but... Oh, well, this guy's really good on attack, he's got plus three attack, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I love Africa. Cool, but I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Actually, did, did, did they unite? Did, did Sokoto, Sokoto, huh? Did they actually unite? Hmm, maybe not. I'm, I don't remember that much about Africa, but that's alright. Let's see, you guys are gonna... Accord? Sounds good to us. And keep going after them. And they'll come down here too. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's our Africa. Not, that's not your Africa. That's our Africa. Oh, so sorry to say, right now we're doing some military plans. Because I want to make sure that we keep going with our military tech for now. Just because we realistically need to. But Czech radicals attempt a coup. A group of Czech radical Democrats attempted to overthrow the government in a coup. They were unsuccessful, but their actions have inspired the countrymen to rise up and demand freedom. But that's not good. Especially since we don't go back to war with Prussia. Uh, let's take a look here. Get rid of the newspapers. Uh, get rid of worth the troublemakers. So now, what do the people want? People want we weighted wealth voting, panage. Um, we get more suppression points. That still hurts our education efficiency. This would be really good to get. Let's grab that one. And then bankruptcies could be much better as well, which would be very good. Uh, we're still six uh, industry in the world. Obviously, I we need to prioritize a little bit, maybe a little bit more, but. That's not too bad right now. Uh, uh, go here first. Go here first. Uh, what is this one? Patriotic Society. A small North German patriotic society has reached local prominence in Bromberg. Ostensibly claiming to simply organize North German citizens of Austria to benefit the local community. We suspect that the organization is in fact overtly arguing, supporting, and aiding and abetting the cause of North German independence. We could shut it down, though that would cause a fair amount of militancy. Shut it down. Shut it down. No, no, no. We have free press, but you're not allowed that type of press here. Um, okay, the Russians were allied with those guys. So be it. And... Also, we have anarcho-liberals here as well. Let's take a look at that. Anarcho-liberal party. Laissez fair, free trade, atheist, full citizenship, opposed to welfare, as well as pro-military. So, interesting. Cool. And then we'll come to Okir next. Thank you very much. And you guys kind of hang out here. This this navy really sucks. It's our Austrian Imperial Navy, but it's literally just two men of wars and 11 clipper transports. As you can tell, it's not very good. But basically, now we can go ahead and start justifying on Prussia. I think we're going to wait a little bit first, because that's 19 still quite a bit. So, let's still wait. Let's just wait a little bit. Uh, they don't like us. America, they don't really care for us either. UK, they actually kind of like us now. And the Russians, they don't care about us too much, so. Actually, Prussia, hopefully you're not allied with anyone important. Oh, we, oh we're still allied to the Spanish. Cool. Also, our total population is almost 48 million. Nice. Hey, there you go. Thank you very much. And we're now at peace. Awesome, awesome. i got to send these guys back home. But before we do that, let's cut these guys out and see. We need to get a horse and artillery. And a horse. And artillery. I love Africa. Jesus, so good. So good. Alright, everyone. So now we're here going to war with Prussia again. And I'll be honest, this is my second attempt doing this. 
Uh, it's going to get really bad here. It's going to get extremely bad just because they have Albert von Albrecht von Rune, who is extremely good on. He literally gets plus five attack. So this is going to be very bad. This is going to be extraordinarily bad. Um, and they also have von Mokti, which is incredibly good as well. So my goal here is to kill off as many armies as we possibly can. That's not bad. And we have to be on the attack. We have to be on the attack because if they're attacking us, we're, we're going to die. We're literally just going to die. And that's why I've already started mobilizing. We will help you. Atheism, that's fine. Whatever. Don't really care right now. Um, as long as you fight for the king, for the kaiser, the emperor, that's all that matters. Uh, nope. Sorry, guys. Not interested in that right now. Um, oh. Oh, come on. Oh, no. No. Where are you? Where are you at? Get back down here. Find their army. Oh. Just kill these guys off as fast as possible. Uh, no, 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 right here, right here. Everyone, everyone's going to move here. We got to move to the death stack. You find them, you kill every single last one of these guys off. Saxony's going to die. Um, protectionism, I don't, I really don't care because Von Rune's back. Von Rune's back. Find him, find him. God dang it! Ah, they're splitting up too much. There's not much we can really do about that. Hopefully, who do they have here? Oh crap, how strong is Von Mokti? Mokti. Plus, oh, he's really, he's really good on attack and defense. Oh god dang it. Come on, man. Uh, we need more Miltex. We killed off a lot of them, which is nice. Uh, how much? Are they headed to Deutsch Krona? Kill them off. Kill every last group you can off. Please, 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 please. We still have mobilized, so... Yeah, I almost never mobilize. At least I try not to. But sometimes you really just need to. Um, actually, combine first. Are you guys good on attack? You're okay on attack. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Good kill. Literally kill them all off. Uh, grants era territoriality? News reaches us from Gelidi that they've decided to allow foreigners to be tried according to the laws of their native countries. Tatlessly caused by some pressure from within the circles of the great powers, these are good news, nevertheless. Hey, get more prestige. Love it. Fine, kill them all. Seriously. We're winning over here as well, which is nice. We uh, oh, oh, we lost that one. Um, that makes sense. That's fine. Um, we're still mobilizing, so Tuchel, they all died, which is great. So from here, I think we've killed off a lot of the armies, which is great. Let's go ahead and siege down all of uh, Pomerania, so that way we can get, get some ticking war score immediately, unless some guy who really wants to kill us forms. So not good, not good. And we have our guys here too. So every elections. Frankfurt on mine, that's fine. Yeah, I'll let these guys. Oh, oh, oh. Von Mok is over there too. Oh boy. If they're not over here, we can start sieging this stuff down. But, yeah, Jesus Christ, I hate those guys. Go over there, go over there. Oh crap, oh crap. Did he come back? Oh, Von Rune's over. Oh no, 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 Oh, uh, Von Nunstetten. Everyone goes to Shetten. Go in, go in. I mean, third third time in an episode. Nah, you guys did it. That'll be fine for now. Third time in an episode to take out the Prussians. And they finally unlocked their really good generals. Really, really decent generals. Um, Greifswald? Nope. Not today. Oh, yeah. Sardinia beat them all. Sardinia beat them all. Thank you. Cool. And we're sieging these guys down. Um, I'd rather siege you down for now. They all died, which is awesome. Uh, send you guys here, and then send you guys right there, and then send you guys right there, and then send you guys right there, and then send you guys right to there. Nice. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, man. Seriously. Uh, how good is this gun defense? He's not very good in defense. And these guys are... Very good on attack, so you might as well just let him die. This is a bad thing to do, but still. Hey, we got that tile. Nice. Go with the Kustrin. It's fine. And they're attacking us here. I don't really care. Just gotta keep an eye for everything here. Uh, sure. That's fine. Peace them out. They get less allies. Uh, we need 65. We have 33 war score. Oh, they're actually attacking Von Rune on def... Yeah, that's really good to attack him. Thank you, Belgium. Just keep him busy. Just keep him busy for now. Oh crap. Uh right here, right here, right here. Any Prussian general any Prussian army needs to die. Uh going in. Um I don't mind doing this too. Uh Friedrich Karl. 
Yes, yes, yes. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Greifswald? Good. Oh, Saxony peace out. That's good. Um, who else is left in this war? I mean, there's a lot of people here still. 20%. They have four. Nice. Go to Kustrin. Go to Kustrin. Finish it off, finish it off, finish it off. Please, for the love of God, finish it off faster. I don't, think we, I don't think Austria gets that many good generals either, so... We'll definitely see what happens. This has been incredibly bloody. Holy crap. Um, call to bus? No. Not today. Uh, oh, hello. Friedrich Wilhelm IV. Friedrich has got to go bye-bye. We keep mobilizing more, I think, but... El Salvadorian fell. That's good. That's good. Get to Kustrin so we can siege you down as fast as possible. I feel so bad doing this to Prussia, especially in the very first episode, but it has to be done. Nice. Austrian schools. Assimilation efforts in Palatian areas and territories are progressing slower than they should reasonably have to, and one of the reasons is that the Palatian children are still educated in their native tongues. By enforcing a compliance to a national curricula, we can foster a new generation of children to identify more directly with the Austrian state. Never mind, and force the Austrian curriculum. Yes. Yeah, at this point, we've got to really focus on Miltex. At least a little bit more. Go to Berlin next. Nice. Right, so this is really damaging to our economy. It's really bad. Um, where do they get it to? Danzig? No, 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 no. You don't need that. Will they piece this out yet? The, the Rhineland. Hand the Russian pro Rhineland back to Rhineland. That's kind of wild, not going to lie, but that's okay. Oh, they have a massive army of on, under Von Ruin. Oh, boy. Come on, siege is down faster. Anything else here? Anything else? Oh, yes. Ah, yes. So, do you need Piedmont? Yes, that's fine. Anhalt, yes. Sex Weimar? Actually, maybe it's not a good idea to piece them out that fast, but whatever. Good, we got another one done. Bavaria's looking very good. We're losing a lot of money. I might demobilize very soon, actually. Oh, good. You know, let's demobilize. I think we'll be okay. We can always remobilize them later, so demobilize. There you go. Go home, guys. You'll be alright. Ah, the economy is coming back a little bit. Alright, anything else? Oh, Russia was it doing something too? All right, all right. Come on, you're almost done. Hey, get in there too. Cool. Um, um, we have ticking war score, right? Oh, we have a lot of uh, stuff to spend here too. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Fulfilled and 100. That's nice. Uh, you guys increase relations, increase relations with the Russians. So, Dean Peter is probably going to form Italy. Um, USA, we can increase relations because we can as well, why not? Fifth in the world, fifth in the world, not bad, not great. You guys got done here too, come over here then. Because they still have quite a few armies over here, which is really bad, but still. I'm going to come in here too, I forgot about that. Alright, go on in. Nice, Berlin is Oz. Great. Close it out, in and out. Uh, before we go too far, check national f focuses. A lot of bureaucrats, bureaucrats, bureaucrats still working down there. It's fine, whatever. Hey, there we go, nice. Uh, Netherlands, sure. Up next, get some more stuff here. Iron loaded stuff, that's good. And get some beer cards over here, too. And we'll get some more intellectuals and eventually craftsmen, of course, like normal. Like normal. Oh, what is this? Brunswick? Yeah, that's fine. Oh boy. Von Moltke. Um, Let's get ready to defend these areas. Are we at war with these guys? No, we're not. That's fine. Um, what is it? 60%. That's not bad. Prussia? There we go. Peace out immediately. Hey, we reached the Baltic Sea. God, that was so devastating to our economy. So incredibly devastating. Holy crap, for at least our army, too. Jesus Christ, that looks so bad. I'm so sorry, Prussia. You got removed from Prussia, and now you're over here in the Rhineland. But I think we can do at least one more African adventure before we call it an episode. And here we have it, my friends. Time to go to war to Oyo. With Oyo, once again, and in the, I guess the Crimean War started. We could have gotten involved, but I don't really feel like it'll be honest. I don't really feel like going all the way over there. So let's go ahead and have a good old time with Von Kabraten, who's okay on attack. Not great, but he's, he's okay. Um, the Polish Uprising. And for Poles in the former Russian Empire, together with some nas nationalities in the territory of the former P Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, started a general uprising against the Russian government. There's an outcry from th some sectors of our population to support Polish freedom, but there wouldn't be any problems if we stayed neutral on this matter either. Help the Poles in any way we can. Alliance with them? Ooh. 
A strong Pullman would not be bad to have. Stay neutral. Ooh. Do we want to go to war with them now? They have a massive army. It doesn't mean it's very good. They are mobilized. Um, but they are by themselves, so I would condemn their actions, maybe. And we do have good relations with them, but... Uh, they're gonna die anyways. We'll condemn them, but... Yeah, they, they I don't know why they didn't spawn, spawn with any, any like, militia units, so... That kind of sucks, but... We can increase the relations, but... Eh... I mean, the Russians didn't even help us, too, as well, but... Yeah, that really sucks. They start with nobody. Hmm. Maybe we'll release Poland eventually. Hmm. But anyways, Africans. We love Africans. And we're also trying to get nationalism and imperialism next, so... Uh, sure, guys. If you really want to move through, that's fine. Uh, let me know. Should we... Should we form Austria-Hungary? Can you form Austria-Hungary and form Big Germany as well? Can you? Oh, we get some social forms. Is that nice? Nice, nice. Uh, le please let me know. Like, what do you think we should do? Should we form Gross Deutschland or get Austria-Hungary? Can you do both, though? That's really my question. Um, and these, these guys are looking really bad. Like, as you can see, they look really, really bad. But we're making some good money. Tariffs are probably a little bit too high for my taste right now, but whatever. Uh, kill off a few thousand more of them. Go back over here and kill them all some more, because... Why not? Why not? Why not? Cool. And make sure they can't steal their stuff. That'd be really bad if they did. So, uh, Overall, we're trying to prove our military once again. And I think in the next episode, we'll definitely try to head on over to China. We'll try to really get a couple more armies over there. Um, obviously, we got to really beat up more Prussians. we got to make sure Prussia goes down a secondary power status. Or at least a civilized nation. We got, we'll have to deal with the French and get Alsace Lorraine back as well. So we got to figure that out too. I hope we don't get too many rebels. We probably will. Hopefully not too many though. Hopefully not too many. So, ah, hello there. Oh yo. Cool. Head on down, and let's finish them off. Oh, what's going on? Prussia, Switzerland, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, look at that Paraguay. Oh yes. I don't think anyone really cares about Paraguay, so we'll do that too. Yeah, I suppose we probably really should start thinking about sphering all the small little German states here. That's really gonna suck though, but whatever. Unnecessary evil. Actually, where's Prussia here? They're still sixth place. They're just a, well. If Italy forms, that'd be really good. If the Ottoman Empire wouldn't doesn't go down to secondary status, that'd be good as well. But Prussia has a very, 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 very strong industrial score, way better than ours right now. Which I should, honestly should have been focusing on more, but whatever. We're still a box faction, which is okay, but still. Um, Morocco, no, we're good. Cool. And you guys are just going home. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're really going to be ignoring the Navy a lot. A lot. Oh, hierarchical order. It's a system where several components or levels are dependent on their respective higher one. The components get smaller the higher they are. No, I don't want you to take that stuff, guys. That's that's what we want. Guys. Guys. No, please. Oh, we're going to be here for a while, aren't we? We can at least speed this up first. Um... Can we at least piece you out? Because you literally can't do anything yet. So... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Great. Not too bad, but... Let's go and expand up a little bit more. A little more, a little more. And since we're here anyways, let's get rid of some of these guys. It just looks so bad. It just looks so bad. So now we need... Four artillery. One horse. And one infantry. So... One horse. One infantry. And four pieces of artillery. We're training Africans how to use cannons. And we've just the right amount. Cool. But before we end, I do want to show you, like, the map mode and such. Uh, they annexed Poland. Yeah, that sucks. They never get anything here. So, this is our empire so far. So, we're looking really good. We made it all the way to the Baltic Sea. Cut Prussia literally in half. Or really into thirds. Not bad. Um, not bad. Italy's going to unify within the next episode probably as well. Romania has just unified as well. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, we can't... I guess we couldn't reform Romania. Uh, decisions here. Let's see. Austro-Hungarian Compromise, which is okay. From Budapest, South German Federation, the Austrian Niger Company, and we also got, we got I the reason why I take these guys out as well. I kind of think of this as like a, kind of like a vacation home away from everyone else. So sometimes you really just need a vacation home. Actually, do we have any South Germans here? We do have a few South Germans. Very nice, and some Jews too. Cool. And anything else in the world? We didn't get Haiti this time, but it's fine. America's looking pretty normal, except they don't have the Gadsden purchase yet. Um, yeah, I just want to show you the world real quick, just because that's really cool to do so. Anything else here? Oh, we also went to Southeast Asia as well. And we already have some Germans there as well, which is awesome. And the UK's taking some... What? And the Ottomans have already taken Fengqing. 
Okay, and just to, just because this, we're Austria hungry, here's a, a cultural map. Look, obviously, we're not gonna have that many South Germans anywhere really at the time of this recording yet, but hopefully in time. But here is a population. God, this is a gigantic mess. A lot of Italians, a lot of Austrians, and South Germans, some Czechs. We got some a significant minority of Poles. We got some Ukrainians. We got some Romanians. Then we got a lot of Hungarians. And some South Germans. Oh my god, look at that. That is such a mess. Oh my goodness. Why would you even want to live down here if it's going to be such a cultural mess? But hey, it is what it is. And here's another easier way to see it. So, about 6.5%, about 21% of our total population is German. Which is probably not good. <laughs> but hey, regardless, if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. I spent like three hours making this. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. As we continue expanding Austrian influence and decide whether we want to go with Austria Hungary or Groß Deutschland, if it's possible to do so. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.